Close your eyes and watch your breath coming in going out. And stick with it each time it comes in. Be right there, ready to watch it each time it goes out. Don't let your attention wander away. Give the mind a chance to settle down and be well established here in the present moment. Because when the mind is well established, you can see things clearly. What's there to see? Well, there's your mind. Your mind is doing all kinds of things, and here it is, the main force in life. What is it doing? It's, it's playing around, thinking about this, dropping that, and running off someplace else. If this is the main force in your life, the main thing in charge of your life, you're in bad shape. You can't have it trained, and then it'll, it'll turn your life into a, a life that goes someplace, a life that has, accomplishes something. Just now we had a commemoration service for a person who died. John Gipps' uncle passed away seven days ago. We also have a birthday today. It's Alex's birthday. These things go together. There's birth and there's death. Without birth, there wouldn't be any death. Once you're born, you're facing a limited amount of time here on Earth. You don't know how much the limit is or how low the limit is, but you do know right now you've got this moment right here, so use it for a good purpose. Use it to get the mind in good shape so it's not all over the place. And keep that thought in mind. We don't know how much time we have, so we make the best use of what we do have. What is the best use? Well, developing good qualities in mind. Some people think, well, as long as we're going to die, we might as well just go out and have fun. But that's a huge waste, because what you do is going to have an impact for a long time. And it's not the case that when you die, that's the end of the matter. There's the mind, if it's still got clinging and craving, is still going to keep going on, on, on. And if you train it in all kinds of unskillful craving, it's going to go on in a, a bad direction. So learn how to develop some good desires, the desire to be mindful, the desire to be alert, the desire to be concentrated, the desire to have goodwill and compassion for others. These qualities that the Buddha called perfections, beginning with the quality of virtue and leading up to goodwill and equanimity and discernment. These things are good for the mind because they lead you to a good place. They develop good desires in the, in the mind. And it's your desires that are going to drive your life. Now, there's some things that are going to happen because of outside circumstances that you can't control. But you don't want to get worked up about those. What you want to do is focus on what you can improve here in the present moment. That's what makes this moment a, a well-lived moment. In a, moment, in a moment that leads on to good moments in the future. They give even more opportunities to practice, more opportunities to do good. So it takes some time to look at your life to make sure it's going in the right direction. If it's not, you can stop and turn around, find a better direction. And the best place, the best place to do that is in a mind that's well-trained, a mind that's concentrated, clear, mindful, alert. So work on developing that state of mind right now, because it's the best investment you can make in this moment of time. 